Okay, thank you all for joining here on the Zoom call. It is super sweet and supportive to see your faces. Really, really nice. Um, and it's also okay if you want to turn your video off. And uh, welcome to those who are joining us on um, the YouTube channel afterwards. Um, I hope you feel like you're included because you're you are included in our intentions in this uh, this recording. So the theme tonight is a bit of a mashup of a couple things that are standing out um, in my ten intentions in in what have come come my way in my readings and searchings and inquiries. And one of the pieces comes from a TED talk, a TEDx talk um, that by Carolyn Mice, Mice, M-Y-S-S. -S. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I don't know how else you would say it, Mice, Miss, I think that's right. I'm so sorry, Carolyn. So sorry. Um, M Y S S is is her name. And uh, in that talk, she's um, the the title of it is uh, just going to let these folks in. Um, there we go. Is called um, choices that can change your life. Um, her TEDx talk. You can find it on YouTube or on on um, the TED Talks channel. And I didn't actually listen to the whole talk because various reasons. Um, yeah, some of it is not. It ha um, can have the flavor of uh, a bit of spiritual bypassing or um, just muting everybody uh, that I don't resonate with. So, but I, uh, someone had highlighted that at the end of this talk, she gives this, what she calls a prayer, which um sounds like a practice to me or an intention, a blessing that uh, I found helpful. And so I kind of uh, listened to the beginning and then skipped to the end of her talk. And uh, so partly this little, um, which I'll be adapting a little bit and, and um, inspired by her her offering, but it it was a really a, a a prayer as she called it to to uh, awaken the awareness of impermanence and to help us really open to gratitude and to love and to present moment awareness. Um, she. She phrased it as choosing to get up because her talk was about choices that change your life. And so she was ending her, her talk with this kind of primary practice to choose to get up every day and bless your life. Bless your day, she said, bless your day. Um, I don't really know what that means to bless your day. Uh, but to me, what it resonated as is intention, wise intention to start our day, to to move into each day with a wise intention and and how that can bring blessings that can bring um, skillfulness and a different kind of awareness into our day. Um, sorry, I'm just muting folks as they come in to make sure they don't pop up on the screen. She said um, to particularly, she was talking about this inspiration, this feeling of choosing to get up every day and bless your day um, simply because you're alive, because you are. 
and and to move into the day with that sense of wonder and miracle and um wow i get to have this life experience uh for another day and uh the 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 prayer that she offers then was was really phrased like um with the, a strong awareness of impermanence like this day will never come again i'll never see the people i'm interacting with in this day again i'll never see these exact people Again, I'm not going to be the same person the next day. We have all, we've all changed every day. We've learned more. We've had new experiences. Our body has changed. Every I'm not going to be this being again, just this day. I don't even know if I'm going to be in the next day. Um, I'll never see this sunrise again or that sunset. I'll never see the person that I'm sharing this fill in the blank, this meal, this walk, this cup of tea. Um, I'll never see them or be with them in exactly this way or just this way again. Um, and these reflections, they can really wake up a, a sense of wise intention because if we really meditate with this sense of impermanent every day, at the end of every day, at the beginning of each day, to start the day with your own words, your own reflections on the preciousness of this day, mm -hmm. the impermanence of it, it really helps you not waste any time. It really helps you to see who you're with and to bring the wise intention of the middle path to each encounter. Wise intention in the Buddhist teachings is comprised of three things. One is, the, the first is renunciation, the wise intention for renunciation, which counters desire, the, the hindrance, the... Um, the poison it's sometimes called of desire of always that that hungry ghost feeling that always wanting always trying to get for myself and so renunciation and generosity and giving um, is a skillful wise intention for ourselves and for others and for this earth definitely the second wise intention is the intention for goodwill and this counters ill will counters any intention around harm or ill will or I shouldn't say harm there but of um, cruel thoughts for others around others also ill will towards ourselves and the, the third wise intention is the intention for harmlessness which encounter which counters any intention for harm, so causing harm to others. So ill will and harmfulness seem related, but they're a little bit different um, in that, yeah, harm is there. You can see that you probably have ill will if you're going to cause harm to others, but just having goodwill and um, the intention to not cause harm are a little bit different. Um, so these, these kind of, uh, reflections, um, reminded me of another piece from a, a Dharma teacher, Sylvia Borstein, um, who is, uh, wrote a piece talking about why it's intention. I think it was in Lions Roar magazine. I'll try and find it to put the link, uh, down below, um, in the YouTube channel. Um, and if those on the Zoom here, um, you could email me if you want that link and I'll find out for you. Uh, so she talks about this practice of intention, starting your day with intention. 
um, and relates it to the Dharma because she's a meditation teacher, a Dharma teacher. And she talks about how important wise intention is because intention comes before all of our speech, all of our actions. It even comes before our thoughts um, that there's there's intention. And so when we really cultivate and say out loud our intentions, it helps us really direct, point ourselves through the day to where the direction we want our lives to go in the direction of renunciation, non-harm, and non-ill will, or phrased in the positive goodwill and harmlessness. <clears throat> uh, so there's another aspect to this, um, it, which is in a teaching that the Buddha gave to his son, Rahula, and he uh, teaches him in that, that sutta, that teaching about to uh, always uh, evaluate our actions. So this can be done at the end of the day as well. Um, so we can start our day with intention to uh, help align ourselves with the direction that we want our life energy to be moving towards. And also to, so we consider before an action, during an action, and after an action. And all three are very different, and all three are very skillful and helpful. So at the end of the day, we can reflect, you know, this day has ended. My life is shorter. Let me look closely. What have I done? You can tell this is something I recite to myself. And, um, and then reflect on the day and see, is, is there any remorse there, regret or remorse? Um, was there anything that was unskillful or harmful? And, and even uh, sometimes, <laughs> a little bit of a tricky place mind the gap between intention and impact I think it was Rhonda McGee that said that another Dharma teacher and uh because sometimes we can just say well that's not what I meant I didn't intend that but it still caused harm and so we can still reflect on that like I didn't wasn't intending to cause harm but harm happened and we can still, at the end of the day, or any time during an action, et cetera, before, during, after, to see, hmm, that, that caused harm, and I have an intention to not cause harm again. Um, and, and that will inform our intentions the next day. And we begin again. Um, yeah. Uh, so Sylvia Borstein shares these intentions that um, she says uh, in her experience, um, saying specific vows evokes an awareness of ways in which she may have broken them. And she also leaves time after each statement um, for her mind to kind of do a, a moral inventory, she calls it. Um, with um, a sense of making amends where possible, offering amends. Um, there's lo lots of skillful ways to, to work with this stuff. Um, yeah, so the, the, um, these, are, these five are based on the Buddhist precepts, which some of you may be familiar with, the five mm, values, intentions, precepts that for lay people that guide us towards being more skillful and less causing less harm each day. Uh, she says some people she knows have them taped to their bathroom mirror and say them aloud each morning. So she says on behalf of myself and all beings, 
I intend to refrain from consciously hurting anyone. Though I really like the wording here. I intend to refrain from consciously hurting anyone. Because in that, you know, we know that sometimes we cause harm. And so, you know, to make it into kind of a statement where I will never cause harm is like, I don't know, maybe, maybe that'll work for you. <laughs> for me, it's like, I have to be a little more honest with myself and realistic. Like I have a deep and strong intention to not intentionally cause harm. Um, and then secondly, I intend to refrain from overtly or covertly taking what isn't mine, is not mine. So taking more than uh, is freely offered or and not taking what isn't freely offered. I intend to be sure that my speech is kind as well as true. There's complications with these. I intend to refrain from addictive behaviors that confuse my mind and lead to heedlessness. So these are, this is sometimes um, from uh, taking intoxicants that cause heedlessness, cause us to be unaware and therefore be causing harm to people. And so this combined with um, the offering that Carolyn Mice was offering of uh, being aware of impermanence and gratitude and um, opening us to present moment and, and loving care or friendliness. Um, I thought were really skillful ways to begin and end a day. And they can also be very skillful ways to begin and end our practice. Yeah, I don't know if there's any more here. Um, no, don't think there is. Other than regret for not being sure how to pronounce Carolyn's last name. <laughs> how does one find out how to pronounce names? You have to try and catch some video of someone saying their name and like, okay, now I got it. <laughs> All right. So you might um, reflect for yourself what is a helpful, what may be helpful intentions in your own words that really will help guide your day and have them by your bed or in the bathroom or where you have your morning, whatever tea or whatever it is and um not just read them but consider saying them out loud which is a very different it's quite a different energy to say these things out loud um and so it may be based on these precepts or it may be based on um the the prayer that carolyn was offering of um really reflecting on impermanence I would say just really follow your heart. What find what words resonate for you? Where do you want to aim your intention every day? And then at the end of the day, you could have a, another reflection um, or a reading or saying to yourself of, uh, yeah, this day has ended. My life is shorter. Let me look closely. What have I done? Life and death are of supreme importance. Time passes quickly and opportunity is lost. Let us awaken. I will not squander my life. Yeah. So let's um, practice with these now and see how they inform our heart and our awareness and uh, direct our attention to kindness to ourselves and each other. Uh, so if you're practicing with us, you can um, 
adjust your posture, change your lighting. You could lay down, see if you need any other supports. Um, you might like to turn away from the computer and get whatever supports you need to be comfortable and wakeful, upright. <clears throat> I just said lay down and then I said upright. <laughs> so if you are practicing laying down because the body needs that support, um, these are still practices of awakening. And so if you're practicing laying down, um, there's different things you can do to stay with kind of upright energy or wakeful energy. You could raise up your forearm, or you could bend your knees uh, so that your knees will drop if you're um, falling asleep, things like that. Mm. Just seeing now what your heart, body, mind needs to land here in this present moment. So you might need to look or might find it supportive to look around your space, uh, to have some movement or stretch or some wakeful touch or relaxing touch. And when you're ready, perhaps finding a place for your eyes to rest, either downward or closed or on something beautiful or peaceful. And we invite a sense of stillness into our awareness. As stillness begins to arrive, we can feel some sensations of settling. At first, noticing any areas of tension, vibration, swirling, contraction. Just watching how, just like a shaken snow globe, when we place it down, settling happens. And we bring these intentions of goodwill to meet ourselves, harmlessness, renunciation. We let go of distractions. And we bring kind attention. So we're already practicing with wise intention, just in our arriving. If there's a lot of worry or busyness or planning, Inviting some renunciation of that for this time of practice. Allowing that to rest. Not right now. That 
not pushing it away, but just setting it aside for now. And this counters our desire for getting, for fixing, for becoming. And we're bringing goodwill to our body in this moment, softening any tension that could let go a little bit, relaxing into the support that is here for you. And then we cultivate and invite into awareness these wise intentions of our values, our ethics, our precepts. On, by, on behalf of myself and all beings, I intend to refrain from consciously hurting anyone. Just leaving some time between each of these vows to reflect and cultivate this intention. On behalf of myself and all beings, I intend to refrain from overtly or, or covertly taking what is not mine, taking what is not freely given. On behalf of myself and all beings, I intend to be sure that my speech is kind as well as true.
This includes inner speech and speech directed towards myself. On behalf of myself and all beings, I intend to refrain from sexuality that is abusive or exploitive. On behalf of myself and all beings, I intend to refrain from addictive behaviors that confuse my mind and lead to heedlessness. That lead to being unaware or causing harm. And then some time here just to reflect on what intentions, what values in your own words resonate for you. What intentions do you want to bring to guide yourself through your days to direct your attention? These wise intentions fuel and affect our speech and our actions. What are your intentions? And then we'll infuse these intentions with the energy, the awareness of impermanence. This choosing to bless each day 
helps us to open to gratitude, to love, helps to remove bitterness and to open to the present moment. This day of my life will never come again. The me that is showing up in this moment is never going to be exactly like this again. This particular sunset and sunrise I will never see again. This person that I'm passing on the street or in the hallway or sharing this meal or a walk or words with, I will never meet again in just this way. I will never breathe this breath again. Each breath. Each being, each moment, absolutely precious. And we bring all of our intention to not cause harm, to ourselves and each other. And for the remainder of the practice, just rest in the energy, the support that you've cultivated, all of this wise intention that's holding you to meet each moment, precious,
Life and death are of supreme importance. Time passes quickly and opportunity is lost. Let us awaken, awaken. I will not squander my life. Mm. Mm. So if you've joined us on this uh, YouTube recording, uh, I'll put some links down below to the references that I was kind of mashing up tonight. <laughs> and uh, Consider reflecting on and writing your own intentions to begin each day and perhaps some to reflect on at the end of each day. It can really uh, turn up the dial on how you move through the day. Yeah, so thank you for joining us.